Happy Friday, trade hackers. Welcome to today's day trading update. Well, I kept the streak alive plus 13 days in a row, 13 green days in a row, a small green day to end today, plus 285 after being down most this morning. So let's recap these trades and then I'm going to come back and recap the week and uh, I'll show you what we did here. So starting with the mighty 90s, just one mighty 90 in Tesla for 542. Nice trade there. No pairs trades today, no pairs trades this week. So just not seeing anything set up that I liked. Uh, NASDAQ was one uh, was one of them that got me back into the green late morning here, plus 1,040. Uh, ARC, minus 345. That was the first time we've day traded that one. Uh, Boeing got me for minus 1536. Uh, DKNG, plus 114. And then Tesla, plus 470 on the runner. So let's go over these and then we'll come back and talk about our week and talk a little bit about the the win streak and kind of the mindset. We talked about it a little bit in the in the live stream this morning, but I think it's a good thing for everyone to hear. Uh, so first, starting with the, uh, the, the Mighty 90 in Tesla. So uh, Tesla had this initial weakness, had a nice volume. I didn't catch this until it was already had already bounced. So I missed out on this trade here, which would have been a beautiful one. However, uh, I did catch this little volume pop here and got short right here, kind of chopped around for a few bars and then flushed down and got out of that one for plus 542. So nice mighty 90 in Tesla. Mighty 90s were hot this week, working really well. Uh, so let's go to the NASDAQ. NASDAQ was my, actually, let's, let's end with that one because that was my last trade. Let's go to ARC. ARC, ARC, this is the Kathy Wood Fund. It's, a, uh, it's an ETF, and, but, it's, but it's volatile. I mean, this thing moves. It's very tech heavy, very innovative, as it's called, the innovation ETF. Uh, so what happened here is we got a big second volume bar. So when this thing bounced, got short right here, looking for a continuation, it actually did push back down to the lows, got out of half of my position for a nice profit. And then, uh, but I was holding the rest for more and it bounced back up and I added back in again, thinking it was still gonna roll over and it didn't, it just kept, it just kept pushing. So when it rolled over here, I ended up scaling out and just kind of getting out of it just because it looked like it may want to stay strong and just kind of chopped around. It did go a little bit lower, but just kind of chopped around the rest of the day. So I ended up booking a loss of minus 345 there. Boeing got me good. And I was, you know, today we're trading the zero DTE options. So you've got to stay extremely small. And I did, uh, but it still, it still got me. So uh, Boeing had this uh, nice big volume spike here. Pulled back, got long here, pushed up, got out of a good chunk for a nice profit, and that's all she wrote. She just started kind of bleeding down, 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 and so I ended up just, uh, once it kind of broke through this this big volume bar right here, I just cut out and uh, and took that loss, minus 1536, uh, and that's how, that's how quickly those zero DTE moves are. I, you know, I don't, necessarily love trading those, but I, but the only other option is to trade the seven DTE and those move way too slow. So I don't like those either. So, uh, unfortunately took a loss on that one. And then next one, DKNG. Uh, so had a, had a much nicer profit in here after this big volume spike here I, on this little pullback, got long looking for a continuation. And then as it kind of kept going, uh, I got long again, I added right here. And I, so I caught a nice bounce all the way back up to the highs, scaled out of um, three quarters of my position here. So that I was up really nice. And then this thing just flushed and I ended up cutting out of the last piece down here. And so only booked 114. I was up, I don't know, I think four or 500 at one point. And then Tesla, Tesla, Tesla was one of my other ones. The NASDAQ and Tesla got me back into the green today. Uh, so Tesla was chopping around here. Uh, came down, broke through the lows, uh, bounced up to the unchanged. So I got short right here, kind of chopped around, chopped around, took a little bit of heat, and then finally flushed down, scaled out. And when it started kind of just bouncing around here, I cut out of the rest and booked a nice profit of 470 on that runner. And then lastly, the, the NASDAQ. So right around the same time that I got into Tesla, 
uh, I got into the NASDAQ and NASDAQ was bouncing back up towards the unchanged mark. So I got short right in here, I think 14, 475. Yeah, right here. So on this bounce is this one right here. Got short, chopped sideways for a little bit then flushed, got out of half, flushed again. And I got out of the rest uh, here. And then I think I got out of the rest uh, right there. I was kind of done for the day and wanted to be done. Uh, I wasn't even looking at my P and L to, to, to see if I was, uh, um, had, had booked a green day just because I didn't want that to have any, any, any focus of my determination on closing or opening trades. And so then once I got out, I looked at my P and L and I was up 285 and I thought, woo, the streak is alive. But what I want to talk about in, in regards to that is we talked about it a little bit in the live stream and that is. I've been very self-aware of, of the kind of the mindset that that can take on my trading. And I was talking about it today, how I was very, I was, I was trying very hard not to take trades just because of this stupid win streak, right? I mean, 13 days in a row, that's cool. I love it. Uh, you know, it, it's cool to be able to say, hey, I, I've booked green days 13 days in a row. But I did not want that to cloud my judgment as far as how, is, how I was managing trades or placing trades or closing trades out. And I think I did a, a pretty good job of, of it. You know, I think um, the number one thing is just being self-aware, right? Uh, if, you're, if you're not, if you don't have that self-awareness, you're going to be, you might make decisions just to, just to make trades thinking that you're going to, uh, you know, j just to kind of get, keep that green and no more, no less. And I was trying really hard not to do that. In fact, when I left the live stream, I was down and uh, I said, well, looks like the, 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 uh, the streak is coming to an end. Uh, but I just saw these, you know, fantastic setups uh, happen in the NASDAQ as well as uh, in Tesla. And so that's why I took them. So um, the streak continues 13 days in a row and happy to say it, but uh, happier, even happier. That's just a green day in general. And so let's bring let's bring back the, the sheet here and I'll recap the week. We had another really good week. Um, on the on the mighty 90s booked over 3300 uh, but what I'm most proud about is over 81% win rate here. This is two weeks in a row on the mighty 90s that we <clears throat> that we booked over 80% winners. Uh, and this was on 11 trades. So this is a a decent number, you know. Uh, that's kind of on the higher end of the range of what we do in Mighty 90s in a week. You see 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 10, 11. Uh, so uh, a good amount of Mighty 90 trades and a really great win rate. Didn't take any pairs trades this week. Uh, with the volatility going on, A, I shy away from pairs trades because there's so much opportunity elsewhere. But B, I just I did not see the setups uh, that I really was confident in on the pairs trade and so didn't take any. And then on the runners, this was the first time in one, two, three, four, five weeks that we've had a losing week in the runners, minus 188, not a big deal, uh, but 56% win percentage, which is right in line with our kind of our for the year. Uh, so not too bad on that. Just uh, took a couple losses Well, the Boeing one today, and then an MU one was over 1,000 earlier this week, uh, but still over 3,000, uh, 3,197 for the week. Uh, so another great week. Uh, if we take a look at our total uh, for the year, over 45,000, over 29,000 on the runners, 3,500 on the pairs, and over 12,000 on the Mighty 90. If we go to our running total, which goes all the way back to August of 2020, uh, we're now over 81,000 total profits and uh, over 57,000 on the runners, 4,000 on the pairs, and almost 20,000 on the mighty 90s. And that, that winning percentage all times, over 65%. I want that to be over 70. It really should be over 70. I know there's some the mess ups and mistakes in there that, uh, that pushed it down. So I really, that, that really needs to be at 70 or above. Although, I mean, you can't argue with you know, plus twenty thousand dollars at sixty five percent either, but at seventy, you can see when this, you know, uh, three weeks ago we had a fifty seven percent win rate, still a nice profit. This was horrible, right? Forty percent. You can see it was a big loser. Over ninety percent that week, nice winner. Over seventy percent that week, nice winner. Eighty percent there, not not a great winner, but when when it gets below seventy percent, you can see the 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 P and L is not great either. So 
really want to keep that over over 70 on the on the runners i really want to get this up to around 60 you know runners is going to be a, a lower win percentage but we are um uh you know we're cutting our losses short uh a lot of times as well so and then and then a pair of trades uh hanging around 60 percent, which i think is good as well so that's the week plus 3,197. Uh, remember, we will be offline all next week. So no live stream next week. I'll be traveling. I'll be jumping in and out of the community, you know, during during the trading hours and we'll be doing our our core income and, and all that stuff. But uh, no live stream on the day trading next week. And we'll be back the following week. And uh, I look forward to we are getting ready to roll out our new uh, Orion trading platform. Uh, we're going to roll it out to a few members, just getting a beta test here in the next couple weeks, and then um, make sure there's no other little kink uh, tweaks or things that we need to do that we haven't found. And then we're going to roll it out to uh, to the rest of the community. So look forward to that. Uh, we've got a, a partnership with one of the brokers where we get zero commission. So zero commission on stocks, zero commission on options as well. So can't wait to share that with you that we've been using the charting the technology is awesome it's super fast and can't wait to share everything with you the order execution is going to be like you've never seen as well with some different automation things built in that uh that are going to be pretty sweet eventually uh, i'm uh, i can't give you a timeline on this this is going to be kind of a project but eventually it's going to be a situation where if you have the orion platform and we place a trade it's actually going to show up in your platform so you can literally just pick the number of contracts and hit send um and so that's going to be a cool feature as well so that that's coming uh everybody have a good weekend good rest of your day and if you guys have any questions let me know